Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be showing y'all my rod and reel collection today. I'm going to start off with uh, my crankbait and spinnerbait uh, rod and reel. Uh, I have an Ugly Stick GX2 on here. I think it's just medium. Yes, yeah, a medium. And it is a six foot. So I really enjoy this using uh, spinner baits on it and crank baits. But the reel, I normally stick to a Shimano, the way that I was born and raised. So we've got a Shimano Spyrex on here, 2500. And I think, it's, I think it only holds 10 pounds, but I think I got 12 on here. I ain't sure. It holds it fine. I got this at the beach because uh, I forgot to grab uh, one of my C. Well, wait a minute, how do I want to put this? Some of my coast rods and stuff. So I went to the store, put some of this on it, fished with it. Honestly, I go back again with just this. But I'm going to go ahead and get into my other rod. So. I'm not going to stop the video, I'll just be right back, it's right over there. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Alright, so guys, this is my soft plastic rod. Well, mainly for Senkos and just a few other ones. I don't really put many other ones on here. Make sure I get it into the frame. Hung on my curtains there. All right. So again, this is a Shimano. This is the Sonora, and it holds 10 pound. I have fluorocarbon on here. Uh, I think, yeah, I think this is a three aught set hook. And the things I've been using this winter. Catch my bass has been a yum dinger uh Sanko packaging. I, I went fishing the past two days and I've caught a bass both times. So I've been fishing them like top water, like reeling them kind of slow on the top. They just come up and smash them. So and the rod that I got on this. I had to stop the last video because uh, I couldn't pronounce this. It's a Shimano Scimitar graphic rods, I think. So it's a Shimano on a Shimano. And this one's also a medium. I like a medium. I don't really like, with me, I don't really like a medium heavy. But man, I've used one. Did good for me. That's actually what I used to have this one on. But I had 10 pound braid on it. That's how we bought the whole set with. But here's this. I'm going to go ahead and show you on my bait caster. Warning. It's not like what Flair has or AV Bass or anything like that. It's normal. Just what I could afford. Oh, let me grab it here. Oh. Our rods are all kind of hung up together. Come here. Thanks, boy. There we go. Finally got it out. This one was actually given to me. It's up. Say here. I never really read up on it. It's a pineapple. Don't know the same much about it. But I got 12 pound fluorocarbon on it. Normally, still just use this one for little soft plastics. I got a, what is it? A Strike King. Hang on here, I forgot what they call it, but and then you got a weight on there. And just a normal hook. But 
I mean, this one gets the job done. Like I said, ain't nothing expensive. Just to go out there and have some fun with it. But I hadn't, ca I hadn't cast this thing since like last year. So I'm basically new at it. And uh, well, I've been having a lot of bird's nests still. It's not that fun when you get bird's nests all the freaking time. I'm just doing this in my house. I don't know why. I'm going to be talking to you guys. Sorry. Uh, but I think, wait a minute. It's got Bass Pro Shops. Turn. Wait a minute. Turny Special. No idea. Graphite Rod. Uh. This is a medium light action. I kind of like it a little bit because it gives a a little bit, you can feel it a little bit better. In my thing. But that's basically what I'm going to show y'all today. I think I might show you a few more things, but this is basically it because I ain't got that many rods. Well, none of my rods are ones that. Maybe I had like a birthday or something like that. A little cheap Zippo. You know what I'm saying? Some of them came from like a birthday party. But they... Sorry. They ain't worth a count. Lost so many fish on them things. It's not even funny. Uh, let me see here. I do have like my catfish rod back there. But all my rods are too tangled up. Can't really untangle them that well, but because I, I do have a right smart of uh, rods and reels, but they just get all tangled up, and then it takes me about like 20 minutes to get them all untangled. So I'm not even fooling with that. But yeah, go pick you guys up some young dingers. These things, I don't buy the expensive. I think they're called. Whatever the ones in the green package, Sankos that you see everybody using, these right here work just as well. To be honest, ain't gotta be expensive. They still catch fish. So, I mean, that's what I get with. But if you got some extra money in your pocket, go the whole long way and get you some better ones, I guess. But I ain't got all that money to be spending. I am gonna pull you guys up a verse today. Wait one second. This is actually what one of my buddies requested me do to say, and it is coming out of Genesis twenty seven three. He really wanted me to do this, so Austin, this one's for you. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy qu quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field and take me some venison. So, I love that verse. Be totally honest about it. I love any verses when they talk about hunting, fishing, anything like that. But that verse really stood out to me. And... I just, there ain't really any words to say about it. I just really like it. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys one up. My buddy Austin actually made me this knife. Hey, if you want to catch up with him, leave it in the comments. Give you his number. He can make you one too. But let me see here. I think it's on some of it. Yeah, it is. Let me get it out. This is the nicest knife that I think I've ever had, probably. But make sure that this is in frame. Yeah. So it's got my initials on it. It's a really nice sheath. He hand sews them and he even epoxies them. So they stay really nice together. And he has a magazine that you can look through. Uh, this right here. 
is the little sportsman and it has the gut hook and he put all of this together for me and I really thank him for doing that this is an amazing knife they're it's really not there's nothing to anything there's not anything better than trying to get your knives local local get all your stuff local where you know where the money's going so I really enjoy this knife I've used it a bunch cuts very very well and I will continue to be using it I got it wore down pretty good right now but alright guess I'll catch you guys back up ne next week sometimes sometime I'm, I'm sorry my English sucks but leave down in the comments if you want your one of them knives they're a really nice budget knife. They're made in USA. So just leave down in the comments. I can get you hooked up with my buddy. And we can just send you out. Send you one. Wherever you live whatever. And get you a really nice high quality knife. So catch you guys on the next video. See you.